Hello, my lovely viewers. Today, the most exciting part of my afternoon supper. I am Choitra. Welcome back to my channel and my today's vlog. Just guess what are those? Yes, your guess is correct. Those are wild dogs. I was impatiently, excitedly waiting for them. Now my guide has spotted them. Such a nice moment I want to share with you all. The wild dogs are here resting and chilling after their meal, according to my guide. But some of the mosquitoes and flies are disturbing them very badly so it's good for us we are able to see them sometimes properly i'm really excited and thrilled my viewers actually these wild dogs are africa's most endangered carnivores but wild dogs are very much available in South Luanga National Park, Zambia. Most engendered species, wild dogs in and around this park have enjoyed several years of increasing numbers. South Luanga National Park could be called the Valley of the Wild Dogs. Can you see guys, the pack of wild dogs are enjoying their nap during my afternoon safari. It's such a pleasure to see these dogs in this park, really, I'm excited. According to my guide, wild dogs are extremely efficient hunters with the success rate of about 75%. Though they're efficient hunters, but sometimes their prey manage to give them the sleep. My guide is describing they are united and when they chase one hunting, one if get tired, another one comes to help them. They have unity for hunting. According to my guide, Mr. Simon, wild dogs are most active in the early mornings and late afternoons as this is when they hunt. And we are lucky enough to spot them during our afternoon safari. The best chance of catching wild dogs on a hunt is to track and trail them. This is the best time to locate them during the day while they are resting. And we have to stay with the pack and look for signs that they are getting ready to hunt. When the dogs will begin to stretch their muscles, after a quick shuffle here and there to relieve themselves, then you have to understand it is game on. And at this point, make sure your camera settings are right, particularly for accent shots. And these kind of wild dogs are very fast according to our guide. Things will happen very quickly according to our guide mr simon they are not ready for hunting yet but some insects or maybe mosquitoes and flies are bothering them that's why sometimes they're standing up wild dogs as efficient hunters help to control prey populations and their presence acts as an indicator of a healthy and balanced environment since they are highly sensitive to any disturbance or imbalances within their habitat. The African wild dogs are sometimes confused with hyenas but 
they are very different both in appearance and lifestyle their patterned coats unique to each individual and explains its alternative name of painted wolf i can say other unmistakable features include a white tail tip and large mickey mouse ears now i'm guessing the game will be on soon because i can see some herd of antelopes nearby the wild dogs we are just waiting for this moment they have started running and chasing the herd of antelopes now we are trying to follow them as they are on for their hunting so we hope we'll be able to see them during hunting just look at the color of the sky during sunset oh my god it's so nice isn't it viewers yeah more cars are there they are following those wild dogs yes viewers at last we found them here those wild dogs can you see viewers yes oh my god they are here and more other safari cars are around them they are observing watching them and they are so fast and now they are here waiting for their hunting i think their target actually this hunting dogs begin suddenly and ended suddenly almost as quickly the dogs were scattering the herd of the antelopes far and wide and now they are here waiting i can't see any antelopes around them but they are all scattered here and waiting and little bit impatient also i can see really a beautiful moment with these wild dogs with their accents their behaviors during setting sun inside the national park south luanga in zambia really mesmerizing view both the beautiful amazing sunset and the beautiful wild dogs are increasing beauty in this national park as well as adding values in my afternoon safari obviously african wild dogs generally live up to the age of 11 when living in the wild actually their tendency to live and travel in packs can make them appear aggressive and confrontational however perception shouldn't always be believed african wild dogs are incredibly social animals who are devoted to the friendship within their pack as i already told you they form strong bonds showing care and support to pack members who may be ill or weak intelligent communication helps them through all walks of life whether it's hunting for food understanding family roles or locating safety and this quality of taking care of their pack members is really remarkable as they are strongly bonded they will even look after injured dogs bringing them food until they recover just like human beings isn't it viewers the wild dogs have several other names including painted hunting dogs and cape hunting dogs Actually African wild dogs are different from domestic dogs. African wild dogs have only four toes per foot. African wild dogs also live and die for their family literally. In a pack of wild dogs all the adults feed and care for all the young ones.
the strengthens family ties and keeps the group together the adults protect the pups from danger when the pups grow older they are taught to hunt with the pack i hope my lovely viewers some of the information about wild dogs will be helpful for you i believe sharing is always caring isn't it my lovely viewers i go on sharing my beautiful moments in the south luanga national park my beautiful experiences by making lot of vlogs keep watching them so that you can get a clear idea about african safari in south luanga national park zambia and now just have a look at the sky color oh my god it's so beautiful out of the world yes with those beautiful wild dogs the sky color is also amazing i have now hangover of this sunset i don't want to leave this place i want to stay here <laughs> but it's not possible i know soon we are going to leave from here and one more exciting thing my time for night safari is approaching i'm getting more excited viewers so you guys keep watching my blogs to get more adventurous incidents moments and experiences in south luanga national park see you in my next blog stay safe always thanks for your time bye bye